friolis and tortillas, tortillas and friolis. Man alive, it'll sure feel good to clamp your jaw on a piece of steer when we get back over the border. It sure will. And tomorrow we'll see us in the good old USA. Right. Back where we started and broke again. Ah, oh, shucks, we sure made a time of it, didn't we? Sure did. <laughs> you know, Johnny, it's nothing but a downright shame there ain't one more hombre to ride with us two. What do you mean? Well, us two have been slinging smoke together for so long, if there was three of us, we could kind of call ourselves the Three Mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet we two back to back could do more with our 45 than the Three Musketeers ever did in the book. We've been partners a long time, eh, Dick? Yeah. You downright shame if us two had split up. We two split up? Why, you mangy old maverick. We are closer together than Chinese twins. Men. My name is Oscar Rarat Rarat Rarat. Glad to know you, Oscar. Uh, I'm in the, the, the trouble. Yeah, I reckon you are. What ails you, Oscar? Well, I... I n -n 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 Maybe you need somebody else to tell us. We're leaving in the morning. He lost his water poker and then he borrowed some from Mendez. Now he's got to work it out at a buck a day. Oh, I see. In talk, huh? For how much? <laughs> For 55 bucks more. Thanks. Looks like you'll have to keep on washing dishes, Oscar. You'd be plumb glad to help you, amigo, but no God. Well, this is thank you. It's just the same. Let's make it draw, huh? How much money you got left? Eight bucks, U.S.? How about you? Five and some change. Not much is it? No. Hey, Johnny. We got in before the stacks got up. Maybe we could... Uh... Go without breakfast, huh? Oh, now, that ain't no way to talk, Johnny. We could nurse our pile, and if we got lucky, we could... Get Oscar out of heart? Yeah, that's it. Now, you wouldn't want poor old Oscar to stay here without us trying to help him, would you? All right. Come on. We'll take a hand. Three seven, gentlemen. That's the win. Couple of stacks. Couple of stacks. All right, men. What have we got? There you are, boys. Three nine. <laughs> I sure b -b brought you good l luck. That's right, Oscar. And we are going to get you out of Hawks. Oh, b -b boy, is that g good news. <laughs> you must be very tired, Blackie. Go get a drink. I'll relieve you. Well, gentlemen, what will it be? Make it draw. Gentlemen, I'll open. I'll stay. He goes up. Well, that's fine, amigo. I see that. 
and raise you five. I'm out. That beats me. Just for luck, up she goes again. Hmm. Very good, senor. Once more. Maybe you've got a Mendes. Then again, maybe you haven't. Now me, I'm kind of inquisitive. I'll just call you. Cards, amigo. Two. And I will take two. Drop that card, Mendez. You've had a time since you started dealing. <laughs> Try to do get us into trouble. Uh. Tolliver's dead. See, si. but the gringo back here, he is dead too. Pronto, here. You help me, Blackie. You too, Red. Take him away. next. We do not want any more trouble with you or the police. You can go. You must go before the police come. Where's my partner? Your friend Vaquero is dead. What? He was there by the door. You spoke his name. He turned and shot. Perhaps because he too thought someone was playing a trick. You fired and he fell. Yes, I remember. Of course, you could not help it, senor. It was an accident. No one here will talk, but it would be wise for you to go before the police come. I brought you home, Dick, on our side of the border. I hope you'll forgive me, partner. Heaven help me. I'll never use a gun again as long as I live. Hi, Carlos. Buenos dias, Senor Adam. And Senor Johnson. How's things below, Carlos? Capita. We had a killing last night at the Cantina Americana. You don't say. 
Seems like they're always having some kind of a ruckus at Mendez, huh? See, si, but then your American vaqueros, they're always so quick on the trigger. It is not always Mendez who will start trouble. <laughs> Maybe not. But that bunch of Americans that's working for uh, Mendez ain't so slow either. Say, Carlos, how do you account for Mendez hiring nothing but Americans instead of his own countrymen? Quien sabe? Perhaps Senor Mendez, he likes what you call efficiency of the Americanos. <laughs> <laughs> What happened last night, Carlos? Two American vaqueros shot in the dark. One killed the other, and he takes the body over the border. Not through here, Carlos. That I already know. I follow his trail west to the border. Then come back here and ask your help, amigos. We're glad to lend a hand, Carlos. We've got to help each other. Ah, uh, gracias, senores. How did you follow his trail? I have a very good description of this vaquero. I learned plenty at the cantina. Then it ought to be easy to trail him on this side. See? Come on, Carlos. Let's see if we can locate that hombre. I reckon everybody will be in town for the dance tonight. Yeah. That's Joan Williams and their boys in the sundown. Howdy, Miss Williams. On the shindig tonight? Yes, we're going to the dance, but we'll leave early. I hope your outfit don't cause any ruckus with that tin cup gang. Sundown never starts trouble, Yates. Besides, I've told my men to stay sober and to keep out of trouble. The tin cup outfit now. What's the big idea? A man playing a joke with a gun ought to be able to stand a little fun himself. Well, you can't chuck me down like this and get away with it. Is this what you're looking for? think you can pull a play like that without paying for it. Well, you can't. I've heard that a dog goes blind when he's mad. I reckon it's the same with coyotes. Oh, uh, you ain't healed, huh? What's the matter with you, yellow? If you think so, go on and make your play. Hold on, Brace Stevens. Stranger's not healed. Not even a tin cup can get away with murder before witnesses, Stephen. You ought to know that. It's right kind of you, miss, to lend a hand. But I'd appreciate it if you'd put up that gun. Go ahead, I say, and make your play. Or I'll gun whip you with your own iron. It takes nerve to kill a man when he's facing you. I knew you didn't have what it takes when you pulled that gun, knowing I wasn't healed. I said I'd gun whip you, but you're not even worth it. Thanks, just the same, miss. Sounded like a fight. Were you in it, Brace? <laughs> I'd hardly say Brace was in it. He was offered free admission, but he didn't like the party. Wasn't exactly a gunfight, just an exhibition of some fancy shooting and uh, the development of a yellow streak. 
Uh, if you hadn't I had your gun drawn on me, I'd have given that hombre plenty. Would have been just your style shooting at a man who had no gun. Why blame me? You saw me holster my gun. Stranger outgamed you, that's all. Well, why don't you hire the pilgrim if you like his style so much? You'll be needing plenty of game armories if you don't stop prospecting around Lonesome Canyon. It's probably a good suggestion about hiring the stranger. I'll be needing some extra men soon, because I'm going to build a dam on Lonesome Canyon. You can't build a dam across there. That's Tin Cup Grazing Land. Too late to bluff me now, Stevens. I just had a letter from Washington giving me leave to build a dam on Lonesome Canyon. I'll give free water rights to any landowner. But I'm going to build that dam. The first sundown men that set foot on Lonesome will stay there. I got men there with the cattle. And I aim to protect the tin cup graves. I'm going to build a dam on Lonesome Canyon in spite of Hades or the tin cup. And I'll dam it with lead if there's no other way. There's a girl that's got a lot of spunk. She sure has. Can I get a room? Yes, sir. Please sign this. Room 32. Thanks. I don't know you, amigo, but I like your nerve. Thanks, miss. I reckon you've got plenty yourself. If you're a pilgrim looking for a job, you can ride for sundown, $75 and pound. I'm right sorry, miss. I'd admire to ride for you. The $75 a month is more than I'd be worth to you. Well, who's the best judge of that, you or me? I heard that war talk out there. $75 jobs mean more than cow punching. And I don't pack a gun. If I hadn't seen what you did, I'd think you were afraid. But I did see it, and I know you've got nerve. Why aren't you healed? I reckon that's my business, miss. Well, probably I shouldn't have asked. Mind telling me your name, though, or is that your business, too? John Darrell. Well, John Darrell, if you should change your mind, your job's waiting for you. Thanks, miss. Ah, oh, senorita. Why, Manuel. It's nice to see you. I'd like to have you meet Mr. Darrell. Mr. Darrell, this is Senor Manuel Mendez. Oh, we have met before. Without introduction. Eh, Senor Darrell? Yeah. I think I'll go. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not mean to intrude. It is I who shall go. And at once. I'll see you tonight at the dance, Manuel. Oh, I have come, Senorito, only for the pleasure of a dance with you. You and Manuel are not exactly friends, I take it. Just acquaintances. You known him long? Mm, for quite a while. How well do you know him? Well enough to have him propose marriage every time we meet, if that means anything. I see. I'll see you again tonight at the dance? No, I don't think so. I'm not much of a hand at dancing. Well, uh, remember my offer, Darrell. Gracias, señor. Stranger. Pete Small's my handle. I'm foreman for the sundown. After what you've done to Stevens, I'm mighty proud to shake your mitt. I'm mighty proud to know you too, Small. 
I hope Stevens and his tin cup outfit don't get too ornery with you. Oh, those armors are not hard to handle. But what is this row between him and your sundown outfit? Well, it ain't no secret. We lose a lot of beef, same as other brands. Some think Bray Stevens knows something about it. But there's no proof. Well, if you did have proof against Stevens, that would save Miss Joan a heap of grief, wouldn't it? Yeah. But Stevens is a cunning hombre. There ain't much chance of that. What's his interest in Lonesome Canyon? Don't know. It's just a worthless splash. And he goes on the pride, huh? Yeah. That's what we ain't been able to figure out. Far from the border? Oh, a couple of miles, I reckon. But it'd take a mountain goat to climb over the peak. So that ain't no solution. No, I guess not. Well, I'm mighty glad to have met you, Mr. Small. Me too. Johnny. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> well, well. What are you doing here? I was uh, looking for you. You left me b behind. <laughs> I'm sorry. With things like they were, I plum forgot about you. Well, aren't you going to the, the, the dance tonight? No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, everybody will b be there. Except me. I aim to get an early start in the morning. What's up, Brace? Manuel just rode in. His men are bringing a bunch of cross in the morning. How many this time? Seven of them. Now, you two will have to ride over to Lonesome Canyon and meet them. When? At sunup. Now, you fellas keep sober tonight and slip out in the morning without anybody seeing you. Kind of interesting, ain't it? Now, what do you suppose is due to arrive at Lonesome Canyon at sunup? Cacaos. Seven cows? They don't need two chaperones for seven cows. T two of those hombres look like the t t two you tangled with today. How did you know? Oh, for folks t told me about it. Come to think about it, I haven't been to a dance in quite a spell. M mind if I could go along? Not at all. <laughs> Oscar? I'd rather folks up here didn't know about what happened in the cantina last night. Oh, well, Johnny, I'm not much of a talking man. I I'm for you. Thanks. Uh, after what's happened today, don't you think you'd better c carry a good gun? No. country if a woman becomes troublesome, she is punished, or she learns that love, not war, is a woman's business. Now, yeah, maybe your ideas would work with your senoritas. But this Joan Williams is a lot different. She's a wildcat. Scared of her, senor? No. She'll never build that dam across Lonesome Canyon. I'll take care of that. Then what's troubling you, senor? Somebody's liable to get wise to our game. And if they do, you'd pull out on me and leave me holding the bag. <laughs> You're right, senor. I would leave you holding the bag if I could. But you would kill me if you dare. Men like you, senor Stevens, see what is only before the eyes, while men like me seek out ways that are hidden. Yeah, but all your talk ain't gonna stop that sundown outfit. That bunch is just itching to make trouble with lead. <laughs> Good 
happen to the Sundown Rancho if the Senorita Joanne was removed? Well, I reckon Small would run the outfit as before. Then if the Senorita did not come back, no one would want the damn build, huh? If she didn't come back? You mean kill her? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not kill. Teach her to love. <laughs> Don't worry, Senor. One way or the other, the Senorita Joanne will be out of the way by tomorrow. All you have to do is to see that her men are thrown on the wrong track. You and Miss Jones sure do dance fair to Midland together, eh? Ain't aiming to steal a heart by any chance, are you? What gives you that idea? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is just an idea. But I aim to warn you that we ain't letting no one take Miss Jones and the sun down without some sort of an argument. Oh, I see. Whoever gets it will have to have no key of her men. Is that it? Right. evade my question forever. When will you become Senora Mendez? Oh, I marry you. You're so unhappy. But, Chiquita, I am in love. Me too. But I didn't realize it until you mentioned it. Then you will marry me? No, ma'am. But, uh, but you said... I'm in love. But with somebody else. You are in love with whom? Is that all that well? Does it make any difference who it is? Pity the meal. You could not love a man who has murdered his best friend. Henry, is this not one of your murder jokes? No, 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 it is not. But you would not expect him to advertise, would you? I won't believe you, Manuel. I won't. I didn't expect you to. You are infatuated. You would not care to even see proofs. Why, this is ridiculous. If you have proof, why not call the law? Well, unfortunately, this happened below the border. Now, the man is here. But any time you care to visit me... Stopping here for it. We're waiting for a couple of men that's going to guide us to Lonesome Canyon.
Did you hear anything? Why, no. I'd have swore I heard a noise. Oh, I reckon you're jumpy, Badger. Forget it. on the other side with Mac. Did men does spend anything else? Yeah, it's down below with Mac. All right, let's get him across. So that's why Stevens is against irrigation. Yeah. Building a dam here would bar his private door to the border. Well, it looks like the Mendes was working with Stephen. Working both ways. Two legged stock coming in and four legged stock going out. If the Sundown Ranch has been missing in the beast, it's been going down this canyon. It looks like they've got a right profitable business. Well, 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 what do you intend doing? I don't know yet. I wonder what Joan Williams would say if she knew that Mendes was working with Stephen. I'm going into town. You stay here and watch what's going on. Who, oh, me? Yes, you. And keep your eyes open until I get back. Oh, but, but, but Johnny, m maybe you better stay. No, I've got to mark the trail leading here, so you'll have to stay. without telling us where. Somebody's took her away. That's what. Oh, look here, men. At times like this, personal grudges don't count. If some hombre's taking Miss Joan away, why, me and my men are with you. Got any idea who might have done it? No. I, last I saw her was last night at the dance. She was with that Daryl stranger, but I don't reckon that he... That's the hombre. Last night he told me something about kidnapping her. Here he comes now! Come off the horse, Darrell. We got you. Any special reason why you want me? Don't Funny you're riding in like this. But now that you're here, where is she? Where is who? Where'd you take her? If you're talking about Miss Joan, I haven't seen her since I left the dance last night. What's happened? Since you're playing innocent, I'll tell you. She disappeared. Also, I happen to remember what you said last night about kidnapping her. Now, where is she? Listen here, Small. If Miss Joan has disappeared, I know nothing about it. Why, darn it, old man, I love... You're barking up the wrong tree, Small. Now, if you didn't take her, where your business did you have to dance last night? I'll tell you about that when it's time. Have hey, it, man. Hit leather, man.
Prepare these trails. Come on. Sundown gang are on my heels. They think I kidnapped Joan Williams. J J Joan Williams? Why, she came through here right, right after you left. M M Mendes had her. Mendes? What did you do? N nothing. Why, you fool, why did you stop him? Well, I... I don't need help. Round up the Sundown gang and tell them where I've gone. Where are you going? Over the border after Mendes. Hey, wait, wait, wait. And he must have given us the slip. Well, he couldn't have come this way, that's sure. Tell you what, Small, you take your men and go that way, and we'll spread out this other way. All right. Be far enough. Badger and Jordan, you stay with me. What do you fellows head on back to town? Maybe Harris or one of the other men got Daryl. Let's go. your piece if you've got anything to say. Stephen sent me here to see if Manuel and the girl got through all right. So you're working for Brace now, huh? Well, I don't suppose you recognize me or you wouldn't try to pull a whistle like that. I was in town yesterday when you made that play. I'm working undercover, see? That play yesterday was all a bluff. I've got a note here for Manuel that's got to go through pronto. First you're working for Brace. Now you want to see Manuel. And you're riding John Williams' horse. I suppose you're working for her, too. I kind of had to leave town in a hurry. I got in a jam with the Sundown gang and had to grab the first horse I could. Keep your hands down. Now, don't be a fool. I haven't got a gun. But I have got a note for a manual that'll prove what I told you. Well, I'll give it here. Pronto! ¿Quién es ese hombre? I've got a message for Manuel. Oh, you have a message for El Patron, eh? Don't be a fool. He's a spy, I tell you. But caramba, maybe it is true what he say. This man must be taken to Manuel. If he's a spy, Manuel will kill him. But if he has message and we hurt him, Manuel steal us. I'm not fool. I know Manuel. Well, go ahead then. I take you to him. But if you lie, sorry I jumped you, partner. Lead the way, amigo. We gotta get there pronto. Yeah.
Has anybody been here? Well, yeah, Brace. Uh, that fellow Darrell. Well, where is he? Well, it was like this. You see this being manual side of the spread? I'll let Rodriguez take him over there. What'd you let him do that for? Well, he ain't carrying a gun. Rodriguez can take care of him all right. Yeah, maybe he can and maybe he can't. Come on, we gotta try and stop. I guess we might as well turn back. Hey, look. That's that stutter number that was with Daryl last night. Hey, you! Hold it! Where's Daryl? Over the ba 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 Where? We've got to stop him before he crosses over. Come on! Hey, wait, 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 But you will not have to remain here much longer, querido mio. Soon I shall offer you the hospitality of my hacienda. We will go, so soon as the priest arrives. The priest? The senorita. I am a man of honor. I shall marry you. Hmm, not if I have anything to say about it, you won't. But you will not, senorita. You see, Chiquita, a husband has certain rights. Now, that sundown rancho, it is very valuable to me. With it, I could dispense with uh, Senor Stevens, for example. Why should I share my profits with him? Yes, I shall marry you. Are you not grateful? Why, I'd kill myself before I married you, Mendez. If the lady says no, I reckon you'd better change your plans, Mendez. I wouldn't go for that gun if I were you. You knew to come for me, and you came alone? Yep, and we'll be lucky to get back. Oh, whether we do or not, you know I'm very grateful. we better get started. The place was empty when I came in, but it may not be now. We've got to take a chance.
Where are you going with that girl? I'm taking her where Manuel wants me to. Hold on. I think we better go back and see Manuel about that. Johnson, did you see an Umbre on a sorrow ride right through? Yeah, there's one right in this way from down below now. He's leading a three-way horse race. Take a look for yourself. Well, Carlos, it looks like it's our turn to ask for a favor now. It's time to set you on my side. Vámonos.
You ride on. What about you? I'm going to get me a couple of coyotes. work, Daryl. Uh, Miss Jones has been explaining things. I hope you'll forget what's happened. Oh, that's all right. I guess you put yourself in right with the sundown outfit. Just in time, boys. Here's a couple of coyotes for you. That's right. Kidnapping, rustling, smuggling, and a few other things I can name. You can thank Daryl here for the whole job. Do you ever carry a toad stabber, Darrell? Me? Carry a knife? <laughs> I should say not. But I bet this hombre here knows how to use one. Well, I guess that fits, Carlos. Uh-huh. You've used this knife once too often, Rusty Walker. What you say, senor? Ah, oh, you can cut that Spanish disguise, Walker. Disguise? Walker? You have the wrong identity, senor. I am Manuel Mendez. Says you. But I say that your Rusty Walker, American outlaw, wanted Montana for murder. I've been trailing you for a long time. You can't get rid of that tattoo any more than you can get rid of these fingerprints. Well, all right. I'm Rusty Walker. What are you going to do about it? Senor Walker? I charge you with the killing of the Americano, Dick Martin. <laughs> no. No, you ain't gonna railroad me on that charge. There's the hombre that killed Dick Martin. Not me. He's right. I shot him. Oh, no, you didn't. Your partner wasn't killed by a bullet. We found his grave and discovered that he was stabbed in the back. With this knife, most likely. And you did it, Walker. Oh, yeah? Nice story, if you can prove it. We can, with an eyewitness, too. <laughs> yeah? Who? Me. I'll tell exactly what I saw. How you and your gang put Dick Martin in place of another armory that Johnny shot in self-defense. And don't forget, I won't stutter when I get on the witness stand. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I couldn't. I was working undercover, trying to get evidence on Mendes and the rest of his gang. We're mighty grateful to you, Johnny. Without your help, we might have had a tough time of it. I reckon you'll change your mind about going around on the hill now, huh? I've changed my mind about riding for the sundown, too. Is that job still open? Right. Uh, yes, it's waiting for you, Johnny. Uh, she means she's waiting for you. Oh, get going, you old soap, or I'll be hiring a new foreman. Shucks. Appears to me like you got one already. Come on, men. Get them out of here. Good, 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 good luck. <laughs> 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 